What's up, y'all? We're out here in the Boundary Waters, out here on Ensign Lake. Drove up last night up to Ely, Minnesota. Stayed at a nice little hotel yesterday. Got off work, packed up everything, picked up my dad, and we headed north up to Ely, Minnesota. Got to our hotel, and the power was completely out because a storm had just rolled through and knocked some of the power out in some of the local businesses of Ely, Minnesota. So that was wicked, you know? Took a nice cold shower in the dark. And now, today, we are here in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Straight up wilderness now for the next eight days or so. Another big Boundary Waters trip, and I'm excited to see what the rest of the week has in store for us. First, we started out at the entry point, Moose Lake entry point. Pushed our canoes in the water. And we paddled down Moose Lake into Newfound Lake. We braved the winds of Newfound Lake. Got really choppy. Then we wound up to a portage over into Splash Lake where I found a little crayfish that pinched my pinky. And also there was a really cool creek that I walked up. It was very beautiful. And it felt very good to get my feet in that water and cooled off. After Splash Lake, we wound up over to the portage to Ensign Lake. There's a little creek that flows right through there. Not much of a portage at all, so we just pulled the canoe right on through to Ensign Lake. It was real calm on Splash Lake and on Ensign Lake. But once we got back into the open on Ensign Lake, the winds really picked up. And the waves were huge. I'm talking like we could almost surf these waves. <laughs> it's so windy and it was so epic. And yeah, my dad was pretty excited to get off the water and at the campsite that we're at right now. But yeah, when we got to camp here, I set up my tent. I put up my hammock in this nice beautiful spot right here where I got a scenic view of the lake. And I'm out of the wind and I'm pretty shaded. But at the same time, there's a nice sunbeam on, on my back. Then I set up my tarp. And now I'm here. And I just finished reading a book. A couple chapters out of, out of this book, Night of the Howling Wolves. It's a cute little story. Probably like 6th grade level. It's about a couple boy scouts that go camping off into the... Hawaiian wilderness. Very cool. I definitely recommend it. But it's just, it's an easy read. It's a cool little story. I couldn't help but fall asleep here. I took a little couple power naps right here in this comfortable hammock chilling spot right here, you know? And yeah, that's where we are. This year, it is so dry up here that we cannot have fires at all. There's a fire ban. So no fires tonight. That's kind of distasteful. So if you guys could please make a prayer out to the rain gods and say, Hey, yo, make sure you keep the dirt and the trees and the plants saturated. So if you could, please do that. As of right now, though, I am going to find a big long stick, like a center pole for my tarp. And then after that, might try some fishing. Definitely going to go swimming. It's a pretty hot day today and we sweated pretty good. So it's going to feel good to jump in that lake. And then we got to cook supper and yeah, probably call it a night. This campsite is pretty cool. There's a lot of open spots like this. And on the other end of the campsite, there's a cool opening to the lake. Kind of like on a cliff side too. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, look at all this. All this is open space here. The hammock's right back there. But I need to find a steak. A big steak. Big one to hoist up in the center of the tarp. Don't really need to, but if it does rain, it's going to get really pulled up in that tarp. Yeah, look at this view, man. Holy crap. I think we scored pretty heavy on this uh, campsite here. It's beautiful. So 
some ducks over there swimming away because they heard me. This would be a good spot to check for wildlife for sure. I bet you some moose, bear, deer, whatever. Come right out here and get some sips of water. And you got a good vantage point up here to, to come and see them. You got to be quiet. I think tomorrow morning, definitely going to come up here and maybe sit around a little bit, take some pictures. But yeah, Lake Ensign's off this way. Right over here. You can still hear the wind just galing out there. And then right as it gets in here, it's completely calm. And you got this cool little back bay over here that looks really fishable. I saw a bunch of loons swimming around over here and going after small fish and trying to eat. So that's a good sign. I think this, this is a good fishing spot. So hopefully we can have some good luck and catch some fish. This is bad though. There's a lot of like just garbage strewn around here. Like that's remnants of toilet paper. There's a cigarette butt there. God damn it. I just picked up like a meat package thing too. Big piece of plastic just sitting on a trail off over there. And then right next to that I saw like I don't know, probably like five or six different cracked eggshells. It wasn't natural. Like it was chicken eggs, people that brought up. And they just left them right there. It's always disappointing when you see shit like that, but definitely gonna pick up some trash that I find around here and pack it out. It's not desirable for other people to see, so I'm gonna help out other people and uh, make this more of a natural place, you know? I just hate that people just litter. It's disgusting. We humans are disgusting and we need to be better. But on a positive note, we Still having fun on a little adventure to find a big stick. Look at this cool little hillside. I bet there's a big stick right up here. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. Now I've seen a piece of birch bark. Oh, good to go. On my way back from finding the stick, I ran into some grouse. Birch bark has many uses, huh? swim was really refreshing as always. 
I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have a go at some fishing. Yo, just took the canoe out. First couple casts, got a little walleye. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Very nice, very nice. eagle over there he's just probably watching me like dude just a little guy and I think we can get a couple good fillets off of him for sure little walleye are hitting hard right here this is the third one I had on my line I had a second one on but he got off here we go baby dude this is so sick dude all right I think I'm gonna call it a successful fishing trip throw this one on the string or two maybe cast my line a couple more times and then we're gonna go fillet these up and have some supper before it gets too dark out dude on the spot man boom just like that wasn't even out there for a half hour three walleyes on that's freaking awesome man you know i could tell there's definitely a sign out here that says boom. It's fish are out here. Eagles flying around, the loon swimming around. You can just tell. And there's grease on the rock here. That means people have been frying fish. Yeah, it shows. A couple of small little walleyes. Flame them up. Be eating good tonight. It's gonna be a bit in the frying pan. Yo, the mosquitoes are absolutely skitting out right now. Holy fuck. I just caught this guy by simply scooping the Kettle right in the water. I'm catching them. There's so much crayfish out here. Look at these guys everywhere. See that? Tons out here. <laughs> Alright, y'all. That's gonna do it for day one. What an exciting day one already, you know? Alright, day one is done. I'd say it was, it was a success. It was great. It was a great day one. From the paddle in, nice, cool little rocky wind to get us excited. You know, to the grouse here in camp. Setting up all the gear was fun. I'm getting old, you know? I'm, I'm getting excited at little things like that. Like my tarp, my hammock. Just into stuff like that now, I guess. 24 years old, right? But now then the walleye, I caught, I mean, I pretty much caught three walleye, two, technically. One got off. But yeah, I just wrapped up supper, and I'm just chilling in the hammock. The mosquitoes were horrendous over by the, over by the fire pit, but over here by the hammock, it's not so bad. I don't know if it's the heat off the rock or whatever. They're just attracted to over by the fire pit, but not so much over here. I'm gonna relax here, and I'm gonna hit the head. So, that's day one. Stay tuned for day two. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys are planning on getting outside, or you, you get outside. Seriously, get outside. <sighs> Highly recommend it. I'm just sitting here enjoying the night, and I'm like, dude, I could really get used to this. You know, we get so stuck on our phones and shit like that. I and mean, it's just, I'm sitting here like, man, I could really get used to this. So, with all that being said, stay awesome, guys. Get outside. And, yeah. Peace and love. Your life is a gift. Keep on giving. Yeah, I'm living. Happy as can be. 
I don't care what they say or see I'm gonna be me, my best version, you see I will stand my own ground where I plant my own two feet